episode of Bible Society of India, Kerala Auxiliary. Today we are again in the Bible archives of Bible Society of India at Bangalore in the central office, MG Road in our logos. This is a historical place. This is our pride and our legacy. And I have made a video on this archives in Malayalam. Um, because of many of our friends are not able to follow Malayalam language, we are trying to uh, produce again this video in English. Uh, at this moment, I thank God for this wonderful archives God has provided. This is uh, the one of the largest one in, in Asia. And we have a lot of unique documents here. As we are going to this tour video, you will be able to understand the uniqueness of Bible Society of India and the contributions of Bible Society of India to the nation and to the world at large. And also developing cultures and also developing languages. And uh, we are also uh, encouraging uh, people to come here and see this miracle of Asia, or we can say the miracle of the world uh, when we go through uh, each stages of this tour. Uh, at, at this outset, I really thankful uh, to the General Secretary of the Bible Society of India, um, Reverend Dr. Mani Chako Achan, and his generous mind to expose this video to the entire world, this online platform. Uh, because uh, many of the organizations are not uh, producing their unique materials through online platform, but Achan was generous enough to produce this video and Achan has allowed to take this video in English so that everyone will be benefited. As we go through this video, you will be able to understand how Bible came today in this form and the struggles and pain and the many uh, lives which they have uh, sacrificed for uh, producing Bible in this today's from even we have Bible in digital form in our mobile phones and on digital uh, gadgets. Uh, also, we will be going through the translation, how translation came up and what are the uh, struggles they went through during the process of translation. Uh, uh, then we will uh, move through the Bibles, uh, different Bibles of uh, different world, the first copies of the Bibles. Uh, from uh, different countries. Uh, we will be going through that. Um, also, uh, we will be seeing a digitally animated Bible encyclopedia. Uh, then at last, we will be uh, seeing a uh, unique library, a treasure. Uh, that will be an eye-opener for us. Uh, I'm not going to say much uh, in intro, but we will together uh, visit this uh, tour. I am not going to say much about uh, the tour uh, in intro, but you wait and see. I request everyone to see this video till the end. After seeing this one, you, it will be an uh, eye-opening and inspiring to know uh, more about these archives. And uh, we welcome everyone to come here and explore uh, and understand more about the origin and different versions uh, and the forms of Bible and unique materials, especially the origin of Bible Society of India and the documents and these all uh, things we can explore here. Uh, in, in a short time, I would like to just share a few things uh, in this uh, tour video. Let us go through this video. Welcome to the archives tours of Bible Society of India. How our Bible came to us. As we begin our tour, we will start from this chart which shows how the Bible came to us. We know the major portion of the Old Testament was in Hebrew. It was translated to Greek, the Septuagint version and the New Testament was written in Greek. The entire Old Testament and New Testament was translated into Latin, the Vulgate version, followed by other language versions came up. The King James Version or the Authorized Version was translated by 1611. As we now see the history of writings and writing medium, the cuneiform writings which resembles pictures like characters 
and imprinted on clay and tried to be preserved. Here we see the word Jerusalem in cuneiform, sun dried and burned clay tablets. All writings were started from clay. Then as we move through this tour, we see the writings developed uh, in stone. I am your Lord God, Exodus 22. Uh, we see the stone writing here. Again see the progress of uh, writing, scrolls and the first form of paper and patch pens. Paper sheets also we are able to see papyrus sheets. Uh, the book uh, form of the papyrus sheets known as codex. Codex in the form of a modern book, the scroll idea changed into the book form. This is an another uh, uh, development we can see here. Uh, we also uh, see the pictures of Saint Jerome. He translated the complete Bible into Latin. This was the official Bible of the Roman Catholic Church known as the Vulgate. He took about 25 years to complete the translation. This was published in 409 AD. Here we see John Wycliffe translated the Bible from Latin into English, 14th century AD. Then again we see in this picture Many copies of Wycliffe's Bible were burned. Even his body was dug out and burned 14th century AD. This shows that they went through the many struggles and pain and they lost their life for the cause of Bible. Here we also see William Tyndale. He translated the New Testament from Greek to English. That was another progress which we can see. Again, we see the picture of Martin Luther German translation of the Bible, uh, 15th century. Here we see about the Bible translation in India. Here we see William Carey came to India in 1793 and built his mission in Sarambur, West Bengal, India. He attempted to translate the Bible into 40 languages. Fortunately, we have in this archives 17 copies of the William Carey's translation, the original print we have with us. As we see in this picture, we see the different uh, copies of the different original copies of the William Carey's translation into our language, our Indian language. This is a thrilling experience for all of us to watch and understand. Let us um, remember all the great contributions and sacrifice William Carey uh, went through for the cause of Bible in our hands. And again, uh, as we move this tour, uh, here we see the handwritten letters by William Carey. And also, uh, we can see the stamps uh, here in this picture. These, uh, some of the postal stamps released to commemorate 200 years of the Carey's arrival uh, in India. Uh, also, uh, we see 200 years of Bible Society of India, 100 years of UTC, Bangalore, 150 years of Pakistan Bible Society, uh, we see all stamps. These are the original leaves from the first copies uh, of some English Bible, including King James Version, scripture in palm leaves, reproduction of Qumran cave finding, uh, this all uh, we can see here. Here we see another important figure, which we never forget, Mary Jones. Mary Jones, we see in this picture, a Welsh girl who determined to possess her own Bible, worked six years to raise money, walked 25 miles to a town of Bala to buy a Bible in her own language. And her story was the inspiration of the Bible Society to be formed in the year 1804. As we move forward, here we see some of the antique Bibles and the reports and minutes of the Bible Society of India and its activity. Some antique Bibles and the first annual reports uh, of the Bible Society uh, we see here. The Bible published in 1560 called Breach Bible that we see in this picture. Again, we see English Bishop's Bible 1575 and English Bishop's Bible 15, 
85. The Latin Bible 1607. Uh, and here we see the English Bible 1633 containing book of common prayer. The Bible including Apocrypha and the metrical psalm. Here we are seeing lexicon 1614 in five ancient languages. And again we see the seven ancient languages in one volume. These all are our unique collections which you may not be find elsewhere. So uh, we are really proud to publish this archives before you for your information. And you can come here and uh, study and learn more about the Bibles and the original copies of the Bible you can see, touch and experience. Here again, we are watching large size Bible in six volumes with the illustrations published in the year 1800. Parallel Bible in eight ancient languages. It is in the year 1831. We also say it as polyglot Bible. Here we see the very old English Bibles, including chain Bible and different versions. As we see in this picture, English, the National Comprehensive Family Bible with critical commentary and explanatory notes. See, this is the chained Bible, very, very old Bible, which we may not, uh, able, we may not be able to see elsewhere. We have this collection with us. These all are the different English versions of the old Bible uh, we see uh, in this video. The English Bible with reference, critical and explanatory notes and concordance with the illustrations. This is the first page of the first Bible translated in India into Tamil language by Bartholomew Siegenbach in 1714. And we see here, this is the reprinted version. Uh, of the 1714 version of the Tamil Bible, which is the first uh, translated Bible in India. Uh, there are Bible in one language, but in different scripts. Uh, we see uh, some of the uh, Bible portions. Uh, these are uh, not full Bible, uh, but as we uh, begin our translation, we begin with uh, one book. Um, usually, uh, we may begin with the uh, selections which we call tracts, uh, then uh, to the uh, Bible portions, uh, maybe the New Testament and some of the Gospels. Uh, like that, our translation work in, uh, is progressing, then to the full Bible. Uh, as we see this uh, in the video, uh, we see some of the uh, Bible portions here. Then again, um, our uh, some of the scripts, scripts uh, like tracts and selections, uh, we see in different languages. From this, uh, we get a lead uh, to translate Bible in their own language or their own dialect. This is the lead uh, for our Bible translation work. Or we can say this is an inspiration uh, to translate Bible. Another important treasure we have here in our archives, scripture in foreign languages. We have scriptures outside of India. As we see in this video, Arabic Bible, uh, we have the different versions of the Arabic Bible, uh, Cambodian Bible, and we have many, many uh, Bibles of the foreign language, Chinese Bible. As we move this video forward, we can see many other uh, uh, languages, foreign languages Bible also available with us. Uh, we started with the alphabetical order of the foreign Bible. I skipped some of the uh, uh, Bibles in between as I need to reduce the length of this video. We see in, in the concluding part of the foreign Bible, Spanish Bible, uh, we see here Syriac Bible, uh, we uh, see here Welsh uh, Compact Reference Bible. We see uh, when we hear Welsh, uh, we always remember Mary Jones and her contribution. Uh, to form the Bible Society of India. And we have a lot of uh, foreign uh, language Bible collection here in our archives. Here we see another unique collection with us here. The Gospel according to Saint John. This is not just a photo or photo frame of our Jesus Christ. Uh, this is a pictorial form of writing. The scripture of the form of picture. Portrait of Jesus is made of letters from the Gospel according to Saint Matthew and Saint John. Here we see Saint John 
and later we can see the uh, gospel of saint matthew when we go through the closest uh, we will be able to see letters here this is not just a picture we see the scripture the say, gospel of saint john fully uh, as we see uh, here in this uh, lens we can uh, just i don't know whether you will be able to see or not but uh, I think you can see a little more closer. These are the writings of gospel. Full gospel is in one picture. This is an, another unique collection. You can come, taste and see. Uh, in this picture, when we see, clo read closely, we see the full gospel of Matthew in one picture. This is another great uh, and unique collection we have. This is another unique collection uh, we have in our archives. This is the cartography or the representation of the land of Israel. This helps the Bible readers who have visited the Israel to get familiarity with the places in Israel and their locations. As we see in this picture, uh, we see uh, in the Sea of Galilee, then we, as we move forward, we see Jordan, then we see Dead Sea. And we also see the flags uh, posted in between. These are the places in Israel. We all may not be able to visit the land of Israel. But when we come here and see this cartograph, we will be able to understand uh, the places in um, Israel and the connection between the places and get a, a glimpse of understanding about the land of Israel. This is a unique connection collection we have in our archive. Braille scriptures. The Bible Society put every effort to reach out the different needs for the scripture through diverse media. Scriptures in Braille, the Bible translation of sign languages. Those who are not able to read Bible, we have given option to understand Bible in their own taste. So we have Braille scriptures. We have the Bible for the deaf. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a sign language. It is not a common Bible. Uh, it is a, a deaf friendly uh, Bible. In this language, we will be able to uh, pictureize uh, Bible in signs to understand the people who are deaf. Touch, it will teach. This is another important and valuable miracle we are holding here in our archives. This is a digitally animated Bible and encyclopedia. When we touch uh, here, it will lead to the media center. First, we touch, uh, when we touch the Bible, it takes us to the Bible and different chapters and different uh, portions in the Bible. Then again, we see the encyclopedia. When touched there, it takes us to encyclopedia in digital form. Then time travel, extras, Bible atlas, and media center. For example, if I touch Bible, it takes to the Bible. See, Genesis begins, um, uh, the first chapter begins here. And chapter by chapter, we will have a reference and close references and concordance, and everything are uh, included in this digitally animated Bible and encyclopedia. Another important collection we have with us, the Bible on stamps. We may uh, have the habit of collecting stamps from uh, different countries, but this is a little different from that. Uh, we have stamps from different countries, but it conveys a message. See, in this stamp, there is a message, David and Goliath, picturized here. And like that, when we move forward, uh, we see uh, the different countries and they have picturized stamps. See, the birth of Jesus Christ in stamp forms. Um, this is not only a stamp, it conveys a gospel message. And we have many collections of stamps from different countries. Uh, this is our great uh, collection we have with us. Um, so this will be an eye-opening uh, for all of you. And we see uh, the countries like uh, uh, Australia. Uh, see, uh, I am just uh, uh, zooming some of the stamps of the different countries. Uh, this is uh, Australia and uh, we, we have uh, many collections from Australia. This all conveys some gospel messages. These are not just like a stamps, 
this is a gospel the another one we have here is a great chart great uh, bible chart with chronology see as we hear in this great wall uh, from the beginning till the end we can go go from genesis uh, till exodus help us to understand the bible in one glance those who are uh, studying about bible and the bible uh, portions and the chapters um, and the year of writings and the writers they will get an understanding from this chart from a first look about persons major incidents and prophecies kingdoms and kings captivity and exiles then again we are coming to the uh, new testament ministry miracles parables um, and the uh, death burial of jesus christ and the resurrection then we come to the paul's missionary journey then again the book of revelation so this chart help us to understand bible uh, at a glance see the great uh, great chart we have here if you are a person to uh, understand more about bible and if you are studious or if you are a theological student or if you are even a sunday school student you can come and see from the beginning till the end and you will get a great idea about the bible from genesis till revelation now we are coming to the end of this video and we are entering into the library and reference section uh, which we have a restricted entry to the academical people and the people those who are studious and uh, those who are interested in studies and they will be benefited more uh, from this library uh, we have a uh, uh, first copies of the bibles from various countries um, so uh, that is a great information for all of us uh, we have the opportunity to come here and touch the first bibles and taste the feel uh, that is a great opportunity we are providing as bible society of india uh, here we 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 have as i said we have 500 uh, plus bibles from different uh, countries that is a great treasure i don't think anywhere we will uh, get a chance to uh, touch the bible and feel the bible uh, many of the uh, places bible will be kept um, locked and we may not be able to take a picture even uh, by his grace and the support of our general secretary we are able to uh, take this video and you are welcome to come this place and touch the bible and taste the bible the first bibles uh, see for example we see a uganda bible uh, he, here we see 1896 luganda uh, this is this we called as biscuit bible uh, because of this form uh, that is also a great treasure like this uh, many countries bible is available uh, with our archives as we come to the end of this video archive tour video uh, here we are with an important documents uh, as we know bible society of uh, british and foreign bible society formed in the year 1804 uh, and we have all the reports uh, from beginning till now see the first report 1805 to 1810 then it goes uh, till now all the collections we have uh, British and Foreign Bible Society report 1863-1869 and it goes like that again British and Foreign Bible Society report 1870 and uh, 1872 this help us to understand the various ministries of the Bible British and Foreign Bible Society and the Bible Society of India uh, from the formation till now this is a great treasure uh, and a great reference uh, for all all of us and different auxiliaries um, and we we are making use of this as we go through the ministries of the bible society of india from the formation till now you may be able to understand from this archive tour what a great miracle god has done through the activities and the ministries of the bible society of india and we thankful for the all leaders national leaders of the bible society and the secretaries and presidents in different time and their vision and ministry especially this archives is the mission and vision of reverend dr mani chako the president and the present secretary of the bible society of india we inaugurated this building in 2004 with a bible world we named it as bible world 
later with the vision and the motive of the general secretary mani chako achen we uh, collected a lot of unique materials from different places and different auxiliaries and different parts of the countries and we put together here and made it as the bible archives we can also remember all the valuable contributions bible society contributed to the entire world and to preserve the culture preserve the language and uh, respect the identities of the people this is not just a translation this is not just a distribution this is not just a printing and getting profit this is non profitable institution this uh, this institution cause to reach the world with word that is our motto uh, we are here uh, to support every culture every language and our motto and mission is to reach the world the entire people they with their own heart language and if they with an affordable price so as we uh, watch this video i encourage everyone to pray for the activities and ministries of the bible society of india and uh, you if you wish um, and if you are interested you are welcome to come here and experience um, the bible archives with a tour and you can come as a church or as a people group uh you can come and visit here i also thankful to the activist here uh mr uh, binu matthew uh, he is also helping me to take this video i am thankful to him also god bless the every effort of bible society of india if you have in subscribe our channel i also request you to subscribe this channel um, and be a uh, member in our youtube channel